Hey, Ruben. This is Brianna from Chipmunk SEO. You had spoken with Ashley, and you said that you were interested in getting a video, so we wanted to share some information with you. Um, this quick video is just to show you how to improve the website so that you could bring in some more customers for free. Um, and I know you're probably wondering why we're doing this. For me, it's actually pretty simple. After owning my own roofing company, I do know that business owners reach a point where they're so busy putting down those squares running their business that they don't have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more customers. And usually the only thing holding them back from actually hiring a marketing agency is that they don't know who is an expert and who's just full of crap. Uh, so I found that by making these free attack plans and giving them away for free, there's still a lot of business owners who end up calling myself and Ashley back and ask for us to do this stuff for them. So if after all of this, you see that we've got some tricks up our sleeves and that we could do some good work for you guys, then you can always give us a call back and we could chat. If you just want to take the information and do the website yourself, please do. Again, this is just free education for you. I'm going to be bringing up four things today, um, content, security, citations, and backlinks. So Google isn't ranking you for appearance, unfortunately, on the website here. Um, as beautiful as it is, and I like the color scheme that you chose, good natural colors, uh, Google is actually using bots called crawlers that are scanning your website and reading the content on it to try and find what keywords that you should be allowed to appear in the search results for. So content is everything on your website. It's the images, the videos, and the actual text. Um, now, the minimum amount that you want to have content-wise is at least 1,500 words on this homepage and at least 500 on each back service page. And uh, the two big reasons for it is that Google needs to know that you're genuine and you're a real expert. So the more that you're talking, the more they're going to see it and they're going to rank you as such. And the second reason is because you're really only supposed to have 100 words of content for every one keyword. So if you want to get found for a lot of different possible search scenarios by your customers, you need to have a lot of content to get for all those keywords. I am going to be showing you what keywords do play a role in here in a moment, but the second thing I wanted to express to you is the security of your website. You do not have SSL encryption completed on your site, and that's putting your information and your customers that visit the site, putting everyone's information at risk. So you need to get the SSL encryption done. Um, it doesn't take very long. It's just a few minutes to set it up, but you want to make sure you have that secured because when people click on the site, they might be treating it like a scam site and backing out because it's just not what you want to see for a well-established business. So we want to be on top of the game and we want to make sure that we're secure for our customers. Uh, now, if I go over to this Google search result, this is one possible keyword combination, roofing contractor Fresno, California. Uh, and you can see how keywords kind of change. They're similar going on the same point, but the search volume for different keywords is intense. So you really want to think about how much content you're going to need to be found by all the possible customers. And I know you have different service areas, so that means you want to be ranking for even more keywords so you can get all the people in all the areas that you guys are servicing. Um, so I'm going to be using Fresno just as an example so you can kind of see the potential of having your website optimized. Now, if we go down here, we have the Google My Business Map Pack. Uh, you want to make sure that you're set up in this, and this is basically going to be putting your company contact information, and you want to get some some photos as well. Um, you are going to be wanting to get something called citations set up. And this third topic here, citations, they're basically just online directories like Yelp, BBB, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Angie's List. There's obviously a lot of them out there and you want to be getting your company contact info on as many of them as you can. Uh, you can use the same ones as your competitors, but you want at least a hundred more than your competitors, okay? Because it's important to be in the top three here. As we know, people are lazy. They don't like to click the view all. Um, so if we continue down through, this is called the organic search results. We can see that there's one of those citation companies. And then here we see the, oh, yep, Owens Corning. So got the shingle company there. Um, another citation. And if we go down right here, we're going to see the actual first com roofing company in the area that is using this keyword to rank on the Google search results. And that's gonna be Brad's quality roofing. So for the remainder of the video, I'll be using them as your competitor in the Fresno area. 
Now if we go over here, we can see their website. They don't have very much content, so this is something we call low-hanging fruit. It means if you guys optimize your site, it's going to be easy for you to outrank Brad's quality roofing. And again, this is just one competitor, uh, one competitor in one of your service areas. Uh, to outrank them, for my clients and for Ashley's clients, we actually use this tool called AREFs. Here I have pulled up your website and I'm searching it by the entire site so we can see how strong it is. You can see here you don't really have any ratings um, and that you've actually been dropping and that's because you are getting some backlinks to your site but they're probably not relevant links coming from other construction and roofing companies and that's what we need. Those are the only ones that are going to give you authority. Uh, it looks like this one is just a spoof site, so that one's not giving you any authority here. You also want to make sure that... Ooh, let me go back up. There we go. You also want to make sure that you're paying attention to the amount of domains that you're linking to. Um, so you do have only three out of your 11 websites that are linking to your site. Only three of them have a clickable link for customers to be redirected to you. And that's all backlinks are, is websites setting up a link with your site and directing traffic to you. And that's important for Google because Google treats it like a popularity contest and Google will give you more power and more authority if you're ranking and um, linking with companies that are relevant to the roofing industry. Here we see you have 40 keywords and all of this is giving you only eight traffic. Um, so that's something we want to be increasing obviously. If we look at your position on the keywords, the earliest you show up is at the bottom of the first page and that's for your own company name. And there's 300 people searching that a month. So there are people out there looking for you. Um, but because you're at the bottom, you're only getting six traffic from it. So we need you to get your op uh, website really optimized so you can get that 300 traffic at least. But you also, like I said, want to be ranking for keywords that are just people looking for the services in your area that may not know your name yet. If we look at Brad's Quality Roofing, we can see they have a lot more backlinks and referring domains and then a lot more keywords as well. And that's giving them 318 traffic. Keep in mind, this is a monthly uh, traffic counter here. All of this is monthly rated. So that's 318 a month. Um, and, you know, it very well could be a little bit more because these numbers just aren't always perfect. But it shows you the potential from where you guys are sitting at and where you could be if you guys just do these three steps. Mm -hmm. So make sure you secure your site. Get your content filled out at least 1500 on the front page, 500 on each service page. Get your backlinks set up for companies and websites that are relevant to your industry. And make sure you're putting your company contact information in online directories. Uh, if you do these three steps, you will be number one across Google. And I know you're wondering what to do with the information now. You can either take the information I just gave you and apply it yourself. That's totally okay. This is free education. I just ask that you give me some feedback to let me know what you thought about the video. If you do want any help getting this stuff done or you just don't want to have to worry about it and want to focus on your business and let someone else handle it for you, you can go ahead and give me an Ashley a call. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video.